you hear me? Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, we are an NGO, an alliance that uh, works uh, closely with uh, civil society groups um, and government uh, and the World Health Organization uh, among ASEAN uh, countries uh, in, in the ASEAN region. Uh, I'd like to begin by stating the obvious, and that is uh, tobacco is a harmful product and that uh, it kills half of its users prematurely. So it is not a normal product and cannot be considered a normal product. And it's the only product that actually um, has uh, an entire convention devoted to it called the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, which now has 177 countries as parties uh, to this convention. So if we look at the ASEAN region, there are about 127 million smokers in the ASEAN region, half of whom are going to die uh, prematurely at their most productive um, age. So a product that kills half of its customers prematurely cannot be allowed to enjoy free trade privileges. And, uh, and this is something that I want to address uh, this morning. The TPP has been hailed or touted as a 21st century agreement that could serve as a gold standard uh, for future trade agreements or provide a template for future trade agreements uh, uh, as in uh, WTO plus. However, tobacco is set to kill one billion uh, people globally in the 21st century. So it is incomprehensible to facilitate the increase of tobacco use uh, through further trade liberalization. So you've got uh, two conflicting uh, events happening. One is that uh, TPP is set to increase and facilitate free trade. However, 177 countries in the world are obliged to reduce uh, tobacco use in the coming years. So um, all of the TPP countries um, who are negotiating are parties to the FCTC with the exception of the USA. And uh, these countries, therefore, these 10 countries are obligated to reduce tobacco use and have actually started to put in place comprehensive tobacco control programs as provided for in the, uh, in the, in the FCTC, that is the, the convention. And we know that um, in September, uh, Malaysia tabled a proposal for a complete carve-out of, uh, of tobacco from the TPP. And Siatka supports Malaysia in their proposal to carve out tobacco for the obvious reasons that the TPP countries have to reduce tobacco use. In Malaysia, and Malaysia came to this decision because in Malaysia there are over 11,000 deaths uh, related to, to tobacco uh, di diseases. And uh, it is the leading cause of uh, premature death in Malaysia and, and hence Malaysia has put in place uh, strong tobacco control uh, programs and, and has a very strong policy. So we have um, also then witnessed uh, in the ASEAN region how the tobacco companies um, are using trade-related arguments to undermine or derail uh, governments' uh, tobacco control measures. And we see this um, happening right now in Thailand. Thailand has um, um, passed legislation this year to increase their pictorial warnings on their cigarette packs from 55% to 85%. And they have been sued by Philip Morris and the other tobacco companies. And basically the argument that Philip Morris has uh, applied is that they have used um, intellectual property arguments and they have successfully challenged uh, the Thai government uh, in the administrative court. Uh, the 85% pictorial health warnings on Thai cigarette packs were supposed to have gone in place uh, in October, and but they have not because of this court challenge uh, which was successful. So every day in Thailand there are 140 deaths related to tobacco diseases. It's 140 every day or about uh, 50,700 deaths per year. Uh, but the government has been stopped from applying larger pictorial warnings to warn the public about the uh, effects of uh, the harmful effects of smoking. As you know, pictorial warnings on the pack is not just to warn the smoker. Smokers do leave packs lying around. It is also to stop children from starting to smoke. So pictorial uh, health warnings actually have a much wider 
um, in effect in terms of providing public education, not just to smokers to, and users, but also to uh, starters, particularly uh, children and, and young people. Philip Morris uh, said that they had not been consulted in the development of, the, of this uh, uh, tobacco control measure. And this is the, also the same arguments that have delayed or stopped um, tobacco pack regulations in other countries in the ASEAN region, such as the Philippines, Laos, and Cambodia, all three who currently do not have pictorial health warnings on their cigarette packs. A country like the Philippines, for example, is facing lawsuits um, by Philip Morris in court, and hence they have not been able to put in place, although they have legislation on pictorial health warnings. However, Philip Morris makes cigarette packs in the Philippines with pictorial health warnings for export to Thailand. So uh, in Thailand, there are 11 cases uh, that have been filed by the tobacco um, industry against the Thai uh, pictorial health warnings. So you can see that th there is really compelling reasons uh, for a tobacco carve out of the, uh, from the TPP. It will bring a phenomenal change to the way tobacco is used. When you talk to uh, departments of health and ministries of health, they will tell you that tobacco is a harmful product and, and in the region they will tell you that um, uh, that it is uh, th that uh, they talk about their tobacco control programs and will be able to give you statistics on uh, uh, tobacco diseases, uh, r related diseases. However, the departments of uh, trade may not uh, have a similar opinion because they are here to, 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 to negotiate a free trade agreement. And, uh, but we have to uh, praise Malaysia's um, bravery for, uh, as a developing country to propose a carve out uh, because of the impact that it would have. Tobacco is a harmful product and cannot enjoy the privileges of free trade. So by a carve out, what we mean is that tobacco control measures should, should be protected and that the, that the tobacco industry should not be allowed to challenge governments that put in place stringent tobacco control regulations. Now, although that the, the text of the TPP uh, is, is a secret and it's confidential, with the leaks, we do know a few things about the, about the, the, the text. And there are over 10 chapters uh, in the TPP that would apply uh, to tobacco, uh, to, to, to tobacco in, in the country. So for example, the chapter on regulatory coherence, the FCTC, the Convention on, on Tobacco talks about um, Article 5.3, which is it encourages governments not to be influenced by the tobacco industry when they draw up tobacco control measures. So this is a very, very important uh, a point in the convention. However, the TPP talks about the exact opposite of this because they want the governments to consult with industries before drawing up legislation and regulations that would control uh, the industries or products related to the, to, to the industry. So this is, there is a conflict, really, between the TPP and uh, tobacco control uh, and, and what the FCTC talks about. Another example would be uh, corporate social responsibility activities. In the FCTC, um, it says that governments are to ban tobacco companies from carrying out corporate social responsibility activities. There are two articles, Article 5.3 as well as Article um, 13 on a, on a comprehensive ban on tobacco advertising promotions and sponsorship that says tobacco companies should not be allowed to conduct CSR activities. In the TPP, tobacco companies will be encouraged to conduct CSR activities because of, uh, you know, etc., etc. So I think that therefore uh, there are other chapters that also uh, will indicate that there is a conflict between the, uh, what the TPP would want uh, governments and industries to do versus what governments are obligated to do under the FCTC. So a carve out would mean an exclusion of tobacco out of the TPP. So nothing in the TPP should be related to tobacco that, that, uh, that encourages uh, the, the, uh, uh, the liberalization of, uh, uh, of, of tobacco trade. So with, with that uh, and the growing concerns of how the tobacco industry has uh, utilized um, legal challenges uh, using trade arguments, therefore has got to be stopped and uh, the TPP should not be allowed to facilitate further challenges uh, to governments who are serious about putting in place uh, tobacco control measures. 
and such intimidation by the tobacco industry should be uh, stopped. And the TPP uh, has got an opportunity this uh, today and tomorrow and on Monday uh, and Tuesday to actually support Malaysia in its proposal uh, to have an exclusion or carve out of, um, of tobacco from the TPP. And we, it is our hope that the uh, countries who are uh, negotiating the TPP would indeed uh, pay serious attention, particularly the 10 out of the 11 countries, and to support Malaysia in its carve out. Uh, I'll be happy to, to take questions. Thank you. Thank you very much.